once again with another video in this video we are going to learn how to compute tax liability and we are going to learn about various deduction under chapter 6a under the subject wealth management again it's a very important topic for all the tybms student so let us see what are the various rules and how to solve the sum based on tax liability okay now let us see how can we solve the sum based on computation of tax liability now there are two steps that needs to be followed step number one we need to first compute the net taxable income now under this there are two parts first under this we need to add all the income from various heads that is income from salary house property business and profession long term capital gain and other sources so whatever incomes are given you add it up next you need to list all the deductions under chapter 6a that comes under section 80c 80ccc 80u 80d double d 80e tta and ttv now all the section ka there is another uh, sheet which i have prepared so that you can easily remember all the deduction within couple of minutes okay so that's step number 1 we need to find net taxable income second we need to do the computation of tax liability based on the tax lab so under this we need to compute the tax liability based on the tax lab three different tax labs are there one for less than 60 years second for more than 60 but less than 80 and third 80 and above usually it is more or less asks always of 60 and 60 and 80 okay so remember up to 2.5 for less than 60 years up to 2.5 no tax from 2.5 to 5 lakhs 5 percent 5 to 10 20 percent and above 10 30 percent for 60 to 80 k range mein up to 3 lakh no tax 3 to 5 5 percent 5 to 10 20 percent and 10 and above 30 percent and if you are super senior citizen up to 5 lakhs nil 5 to 10 20 percent and 10 and above 30 percent so this is the tax lab which you need to remember okay now let us see what or how to remember the various sections under uh, deduction under chapter 6a okay now there are eight important deduction that need to be learned under the chapter 6a number 1 is under section 80c remember the the alphabet okay c stands for contribution contribution is like you are making a payment towards some investment or you are buying something you are contributing under that usually includes your provident fund nse fd for 5 years mutual fund etc remember the maximum limit of atc is you can ask for a deduction up to 1 lakh 50000 the second is uh, section uh, 80 triple c triple c mein only one thing will be there that is pension plan of lic okay now remember section 80c plus 80 triple c together should be 1 lakh 50000 you cannot ask for amount more than 1 lakh 50 the total deduction that can be asked under 80c and triple c together or individually is also 1 lakh 50000 next comes is uh, section 80d remember d for dawai dawai means something related to mediclaim okay so d for dawai for self spouse child parent 25000 rupees ka deduction you can get and if there is a senior citizen you can get extra 25000 rupees just remember mediclaim has to be paid by check only then you can ask for this particular deduction next is 80 double d double d ke liye remember the word dardnak dependent okay there is a diseased person a very dangerous disease and he is a dependent person so if there is a dependent handicap in the family then if the severity is less than 80% you can get 75000 ka deduction and if it is more than 80% you will get 1 lakh 25000 ka deduction the severity level will be mentioned in the question 80 ee is for education 100% of interest value will be deducted from the loan that you have taken for higher education 80 tta and ttb both of them are basically for saving bank remember a is for normal people okay you get a limit of 10000 rupees B T T B is for senior citizen, and you get a deduction up to fifty thousand. And last is A T U. U stands for you. Okay, if you yourself are handicapped, then again, if your severity level is less than eighty percent, you get seventy five thousand ka deduction. If it is more than eighty percent, you will get one lakh twenty five thousand ka deduction. So these are the various deduction that you have to keep in mind. A T C C is for contribution. D is for the wide mediclaim. Double D is Darnak dependent. E is education, T T A B is saving account interest. One is for normal, one is for senior citizen, and U is for your uh, you yourself. If you are a handicap, then you can get that particular deduction. 
okay now based on these two let us see how to solve the sum sum is very simple okay let us see how to start with the sum okay it is given here now the following are the detail of mr j for the assessment year 22 23 income from salary income from house property income from other source he made the following payment mediclaim and uh, contribution to nse compute taxable income and tax liability after deduction under chapter 6a okay now let us see how to solve this particular sum again sum is divided in two parts number 1 we need to first do the computation of ta uh, net taxable income under that there were two step first you add all your income second you subtract all the deduction so let us see what all incomes are there i have income from salary so we'll note down here number 1 so we write income from salary the amount is 8 lakhs second was income from house property that is hp 3 lakh 40000 and third one was income from other source so income from other source amount is 2 lakhs so these are my three income which i have so i will add all the incomes so it comes to i have 8 lakhs plus 3 lakh 40000 plus 2 lakh that comes to 13 lakh 40000 that's gross taxable income now from this less deductions under chapter 6a now very simple first is medi claim medi claim is dawai dawai comes under 80d so under section 80d we have medi claim Remember, okay, it's very simple to remember. Just remember the codes. Now, twenty thousand was paid in check, five in cash. Rule was if you are making payment in check only, then it will be allowed as a deduction. So we'll only consider twenty thousand deduction. Second is NSE. NSE is investment you are making, so it comes under eighty C. That is N S C, which is again twenty thousand. So in and the maximum limit is one lakh fifty thousand. So this amount is less than that. So total is forty thousand, which is we we'll have to less from your actual. So thirteen lakh forty minus forty thousand will give you will give you thirteen lakhs. That is nothing but your net taxable income. Okay, so that's the step number one. We need to find the net taxable income. So the value is thirteen lakhs. Now, we need to start with the computation of tax liability. Now, tax liability का tax lab. Now we assume since they have not mentioned anything, so we assume he is less than sixty percent, sixty years. So up to Two lakh fifty thousand, the tax rate will be nil. From two lakh fifty thousand one rupee to rupees five lakhs, it will be five percent. From rupees five lakh one to rupees ten lakhs, it will be twenty percent. And above. Rupees ten lakhs, it will be thirty percent. Now thirteen lakhs. What is the income? Now we have to break that and show us. Okay, so up to first part will be first breakup will be two point five lakhs, under which the tax will be nil. The next two lakh fifty thousand pay, you have to take five percent. That comes to twelve thousand five hundred rupees. On the next. Now five to ten, though this next five lakhs pay. Next five lakhs pay, you have to take twenty percent. That that comes to one lakh. And uh, above ten, I guess so. We have three lakh because total was thirteen lakhs. So three lakhs pay, we have to take thirty percent. So which comes to ninety thousand. 
So when you add it up, that will be uh, you know the gross tax liability. So twelve thousand five hundred plus one lakh plus ninety thousand. So it comes to two lakh two thousand five hundred. Now towards this, we need to add education and health says of four percent. So two lakh two five hundred into four percent. Two lakh two thousand five hundred into four percent comes to eight thousand one hundred. We will add that to your gross tax liability. So our net tax liability is two one zero six double zero. This is how we need to solve the sum based on tax liability or calculation of tax liability. Okay, I hope everyone have understood. With that, we will be ending this video. Thank you.